Ahoy there makers, let's take a look at the brand new Badger 2040. I'm so excited to show you this. So the Badger 2040 is a must for any conference goer. The Badger 2040 sports a 296 by 128 pixel black and white e-ink display. It also has five programmable buttons and is powered by the Raspberry Pi RP2040 chip. Also has a lanyard hole, just so you can put your nice lanyard on there. Let's take a look at some additional features. There are so many features. <laughs> so it has, like, like I said, the e-ink display, which is really, really quick to refresh. It has a really ultra low power consumption as well. So this really doesn't take up very much power at all. You've got a kind of an all day battery going on there. Um, two meg of QSPI flash supporting XIP. So you can store some uh, images, some text, all kinds of stuff on the board itself, on the badge. We have a reset and boot button, just like we do on the regular Raspberry Pi Pico uh, on the back, but you can actually program the boot button to be a user programmable button. It has a white LED to indicate that there's power going to it. It has a JST PH connector for attaching yeah, a battery and that could be 2.7 volts to 6 volts. And it also has a high precision voltage reference for battery level monitoring. So if you use a LiPo battery, you can actually see the battery level on the launcher screen. Uh, it has a QW slash ST quick stemmer QT connector as well. Uh, it comes fully assembled, so there's no soldering or anything like that required. And it also has extensive C++ and MicroPython libraries too. So of course, this runs on the Raspberry Pi 2040 chip. So that's a dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus, uh, and that's running 133 megahertz, it has 264K of onboard RAM. Uh, it's got a DMA controller, an interpolator, an integer divide of the peripherals. It has two times UART, two times SPI, and two times I squared C controllers as well. And it also has those 16 pulse width modulation channels too. Uh, it's got eight Raspberry Pi programmable PIO state machines as well, so you can offload some of the CPU tasks to those. And it also has the USB mass storage boot mode with UF2 support for drag and drop programming. It makes it really easy to upload files and images to this. So let's have a look a bit more detail at some of these uh, features then. It's a hackable programmable badge with an e display powered by the Raspberry Pi 2040. Um, you want to show your Badger the world? We put together a Badger plus accessory kit as well, which contains batteries, a lanyard and everything else you need to get yourself Portobello. And a bit of a sneaky peek there of the launch app. So this is the accessory kit. So it includes, as we've said, the badge itself, the two times battery, um, AAA battery holder, two times batteries, some Velcro squares so you can actually attach the battery container uh, to the back of the card. You don't actually have to have that attached as well. We'll have a look at that um, in a moment. It comes with a black lanyard um, made from recycled bottles as well, which is really good for the environment. And it also comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable one meter long. The one I've got in the picture there isn't a meter long, just for a reference. So let's have a look at Badger OS. This is just amazing. They've really knocked it out of the park with this. So Badger 2040 comes with Badger OS, a launcher with six built-in apps. Um, it also shows at the top right there, you can see the battery level. So the apps that it comes included with are the clock, an image, um, fonts, a list, an ebook reader, it comes with Willow the Wisp on the ebook reader, um, and also a badge app too. So let's go and have a look at this closer. So I've got some on um, the table over here. So you can see just kind of the size of it. I've got a LiPo battery on this one. And on this one, I've got the included um, battery pack. So inside, if I just slide this off, you can see there we've got the batteries. And I've also attached this just using the, uh, the Velcro squares. So it attaches just by that little cable there. We also have the, uh, the boot and the reset button there as well. And if I flip it over, you can see the Badger OS launch app. And it's quite interactive. You press the up and down buttons and you can get to all the different apps. So if I go for the clock one, for example, you can see how quickly this refreshes. Very, very quick to refresh. There we go. Uh, let's have a look at the fonts program. So click on fonts. And we can see there just by using the up and down arrow, an example of some of the fonts that we've actually got on here. We can go back as well. And then we have the uh, the ebook reader. So let's click on that. 
And like I said, this is part of the Gutenberg um, ebook version of Willow the sorry, Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. And if we use the down button, you can see there it's going to scroll through the entire book. So it does mean we can put text files on there. We can drop all kinds of information um, into this very, very simply. OK, if you scroll down to the next page. So we've got a couple more. So we've got an image. So I click on this. We've got the uh, Badger Punk there, Cyber Badger Punk. And if we go back down to the, the list, there's a list app as well. So let's click on that. You can see there. Any uh, prizes for guessing what Badger, 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 Mushroom, Mushroom, <laughs> Snake is all about? If you don't know, go to badgerbadgerbadger.com and you'll be enlightened. And then finally, the Badge app itself. So there's an example. Um, now, this is actually completely programmable. So let's take a look at that by plugging in a USB-C. So I've just got a Raspberry Pi just off to the side there. And let's go over to our shared screen let's go to that version and if i load up i've got a raspberry pi over here i'm just going to press the uh, start stop back end and we can see here we've got a number of different files so the files that we have on here we've got one that's called badge.txt so if i double click on that it opens up this badge.txt so let's say that i was going to change this to robot maker and what else could we change um job so if I just control save that, that's now written it to the uh, to the actual device. And if I just uh, give this a bit of a reset, go down to the badge app and then launch the badge app, we'll now see that it says job robot maker and so on. So we can change all these details just by editing this simple text file. Just like so, just give that a bit of a save. Just need to restart the back end just for it to connect. And then let's just restart it again. So to restart it, I'm just holding the A button down, the reset button, and then letting go of both of them. And that's just giving it a bit of a reset. So there you go. It's very, very quick. And we can see there that it says Badger. So I've got another one here. This is running the, um, the same thing, but it's got the LiPo battery on. And we can see the actual battery level up there as well. So I can uh, page up and down on this as well. Let's give this a bit of a reset as well. So I just page up and down on this. You can see it's exactly the same as the other one. Now say we've got the badge installed, we're running the badge app. Because this is an e-ink display, if I remove the power, so this has now no longer got any power running to it, it still keeps that display there. So it's really nice and light and you're not worried about the battery falling off or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's not gonna fall off. These things are pretty solidly put on there. So I go to the overhead there. Now, by putting these stickers on, I've actually obscured some of the artwork, but it's the art that we've just seen on that image up. It's the, uh, the Cyber um, Badger Punk, but it's um, really nice. You can see there the RP2040 chip. You can see the, uh, the connector there. And there's also the tiny uh, quick connector there as well. And we've got the USB-C just there. So it's really, really thin. It's thin as like a credit card. And very, very light. Very, very good value for money. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is really programmable. Um, you can hack this however you want. There's all kinds of C++ and Python libraries. Um, I've not had this very long myself. I've just been having a look at the code. But I can't wait to sort of have a play with this and build out more apps to it as well. So you can connect external sensors to this. If you wanted like an air quality sensor, you could connect one of the uh, breakout modules to this, the breakout garden modules using the little quick connector and take set, um, sensor readings and so on, write it to the onboard flash memory. All kinds of possibilities with this. So can't wait to have a play with this myself. I'm really interested to see what you do with it too. Cool. So if you want to uh, follow me as well, I have also my own channel, more dedicated to robots uh, than anything else. Uh, I've been particularly looking at the uh, Pimeroni Trilobite, uh, most recently, Trilobot even. So uh, if you want to check out that, you can do as well. So I hope you enjoy this little video, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.